previously on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Here, welcome back to uh, Shadow Side Twice, the brand new series that we have started doing our first, well, more or less true. Okay, I'm gonna stop screwing around and finally get good at the game run. Join me immediately after taking down the chain ogre. Finally, uh, needless to say, he is hard. Even being a mini boss, he is difficult. There's some carry counter in action. Balloon of wealth. Now oh, we're gonna run up here. I am gonna be calling this. Um, still gonna continue to call it uh, Shadow Star twice, but it. Quartzy. Uh, for me, it is a semi-blind run now. I have been playing my main file for a little bit of, a little bit more after recording today's episode, which will be going up later. Um, ouch. No, for for the previous episode, not today's episode. I don't know what that kind of thing. So we are going to go back to the left aid temple, we're going to snag an extra gourd seed heal because it is necessary for the next guy, and then I'm going to go and take down an additional, oh, uh, what's his name, mm-hmm, if I can remember, take down another general so we can get an additional, oh, she's, okay, good, 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 good. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were... The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a... a yeah, the cut. Is that, yeah, if, if I... I... Goodbye. Okay, so with us knowing about the uh, blood samples that she needs in order to heal... That is going to be pretty pivotal because we get a... Special item in order to heal Dragon Rock completely, which is the healing charm or recovery charm, one of the two. But I'll get that a little bit later. So, off to take care of this general and then the giant snake. That is pretty much, <laughs> it is legitimately just a pathing system. I don't even consider it a boss either. There we go. Starting to get that timing down. So here's the first little section. disappear for a second here just to be smart. Divine Confetti. Got three of those. I'm gonna keep a hold of that because I'm gonna need it for a specific boss later to increase my attack power. Alright, good. So this is where I employ more hit and run tactics in order to get my way. 
take this little guy down first. Because he is the alert. He'll just bang the little gong that he's got. He doesn't pose too much of a threat. I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to grab this Buddha statue. So that I have it. So we're going to slowly start taking these guys down one by one. Firecrackers back on. That was really dumb of you for just thinking, oh, it's gone. Just cost you everything. He's the one that patrols all the way over to that corner, too. take down the gunner first and then take down his partner and then track him down and kill him. Okay, just saw the body, that's all. Back up just a little bit. For whatever reason I've noticed that they whenever they see a dead body they'll stand and they'll look at it like, oh well he just died. And walk away. Now the general is coming up this direction. That's never good. Hopefully, it just makes it easier for me to kill him. Maybe we'll see. Get some scrap iron. Upgrade the prosthetic tools. Gotta keep myself from getting hit by that. General still knows that I'm around for now. I'm just gonna hang out right here until he finally goes and just says, oh well we're fine. ceramic shards because I can lure him over to an area to stealth. And, um, here, give me one second here. Alright, sorry about that. I needed to give my PlayStation a second. It was starting to hit 
what I call warp speed on its fans. It was starting to tax it for some odd reason. Not sure why. I've played this more than... I don't know. Better part of four or so hours were last night at the time of recording, and it's never once done that before. Okay, so here's my strategy that I take with this giant meatball bundled up in armor. So I switch the shards. I don't believe I have any shinobi sugars left, which is not a big deal. That's fine. But I wait until he's roughly about here. I drop down. I hug the wall. He's still investigating. He doesn't... Ooh, that was close. And then I run. But I just run back down here to where I actually have space. So now he only has just one... One health bar to him, which is just fine by me. my firecrackers like I should. Oh, there's me carrying counter fail right there. You know what I'm Clear everything again. And it takes such a long time for me to clear it all out. I don't want to skip them because it's an extra set of prayer beads. But on the plus, I start here. So I can potentially get two stealth kills before anything else happens. Oh, hi. I want you over here to come. Oh, Lord. No, no, no! Mm. Yeah, myself, I guess. Jeez. I jumped back too far.
I'll let him do his round really quick. I'll, I can actually get probably three good stealth kills in, if not four. I was really hoping that he didn't see me, but he did. So all I'm gonna do is just hop down to our Buddha statue. Down on site where he gets me. Oh, there's not another thing to it. Okay, so that just replaced what I just used. Handy that. Very handy. Oh, there's a lizard. And I'm going to be hop skipping myself through this section down here once we take care of him. Oh jeez, there he is. Wow, like bought my ass a long way. Are you freaking serious? Uh, hop out here. Okay, so now that he is finally de of himself, because I ran far enough. There he is. Same strategy as last time. Ah, damn it, I gotta wait. And I'm starting to notice I get really, really greedy once I really get them on a roll. Down. So I gotta play a little more conservative than what I use. Crap! Ah! Where he can't get to me. That's really annoying when that happens. Now where is he? Oh, he's way over there. That worked kind of nicely for me. He's right here. You could have come down here. I'm not fighting you up there. Come on, big boy. Now, if this will have Ash actually takes two. Oh, I didn't sure counter. 
should put put an ongoing trigger on. That could have been a cure counter right there, man. That's like bad for you. Uh, come on. Chance to get another. Use the damn pellet. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not using my cord so very much. Oh, I never noticed that it tells you how many uh, keys that you currently have. That's neat. I guess I didn't ever pay attention to that. That was really bad English there. <clears throat> Alright, go ahead and rest. Okay, so now here comes, like, Jump, come on. It's fine. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, like I didn't know I couldn't go and do that to begin with. Come on. And if you're fast enough, you can get through this section without even trying to. there. Now you stop here. Be very careful, don't let it touch you because it'll knock you out of stealth. And then it knows, oh wait, you're right there. I'm gonna kill you. This thing can and will do it. Ooh, that's close. I'll cling here. Wait for it to look the other direction. I think it in here. There's a little bit of lore I'll explain here in a minute. Lucky. Well, 
Alright, so now with that finished out of the way, that took me... Oh man, I, I can't tell you how many times it took me to actually get through that section. My first time through here. Just so much crap. So that the go to that we just went through. This little guy here actually wanted to marry the snake. Don't ask why, it's a little bit weird, but he wanted to marry the snake. Ooh, good, gave me an open trigger. Oh, can I cheat trigger, I should say. So with that little pagoda, Lore says that you go to that pagoda when you want to marry the snake. That little guy that we just killed wanted to marry it. I, I don't know why. ceramic shard, wealth balloon, and a coin purse. Not a bad haul to be honest, there's really not all that many enemies around. Wait for this guy to come and go so I can get behind him. I do really enjoy the stealth element of this game. Alright buddy, I do not want to eavesdrop on this guy again. Such a sad story. He is really sad that his horse just died. And he's just grieving over this horse, so it's, uh, just kills me anytime that I go and accidentally hit eavesdrop and attempts like, no! Okay, so in here is our rat hunting person. He gives us the Asuna. I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay. Get rid of that. I have my firecrackers equipped. Oh, and I don't have any attack power, but I do have to find confetti, so I could do that. I could do that. But it's so rare to have these drop. Do it. Here comes some of the best voice acting in the game. My name is Absolutely ridiculous on this guy. Really great voice acting. Boy, allow me to show you the wrath of a man who stood with the Ashina when they took me to my train. Now here's the oh crap. Missed it. So here's the first major roadblock that I encountered within my first play. And you can't 
can't block his spears. And I'm already in trouble because I already used it. You too much. will not take this Yobu's head! Get up, get up, get up. Damn. That's a good time to do it. Such a good fight, though. Now that tool just allows me to go and upgrade my prosthetic shinobi tools. I'm going to rest. Get my stuff back. Yes, I know. Give me a minute. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna... No, no, not that. I'm going to... Confront the memory, which just increases our attack power. I'm gonna put the loaded axe on, and I'm gonna go and talk to. Oh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's up and around this corner with a vendor that sells one board seed for 1,000 sen. How much sen do I have? 300? Um, I think I have enough. If I use the coin first, and yeah, I'll have enough. Strap shard. All right, we're gonna pop all my consumables. Well, the majority of them, I should. Hey, I, oh, I only need to pop two, so it's not too bad. So I'll still have 200 sen to spare for later. Care to purchase an another one? Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial ma. A battlefield is our paradise. Go ahead. So this guy sells one uh, Dragon's Blood Droplet, so if you happen to have um, somebody who is affected by Dragon Rot and you don't collect just yet, then you can come to him and get one. That's actually really cheap. So far that's the only real price that I've seen them sell at, at other vendors, but I'm more interested in this. And if you didn't find the Robert's Firecracker, you can buy it from this guy too. Where you fight with. But having the firecracker before my name, um, it's a little bit smarter. And here we are. Hello, friend. Mm. Another rat. Mm. Ah, but those eyes. A starving wolf. Before I kill you. Tell me your name! <laughs> You should know me all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm, a prosthetic shinobi arm. <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I shall name you. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina. 
scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help. What'll it be, Sekiro? And, of course, we're going You'll to accept this. his offer. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat. Go, if you do. And I'll be showing off where to find them. Pretty much just the ones that we've been killing this whole entire time. Open up the shortcut real quick, even though we don't need it anymore. <clears throat> and this old woman. I still haven't figured out the old woman yet. She doesn't show up in the Harada's Day memory. So there's this item right here. An extra light coin purse which resupplies the one that I one of the ones that I used. However, we do have grapple points up here, which is so vital to use, just use them. We're gonna come around this corner. Gonna hop up and what do you know? A chest. So now we have one extra set of prayer beads. That's all I need. Now it's just one additional um, mini boss in order to get the get my vitality up. Grab onto that so I don't take fall damage. Okay, so the rats that he is referring to, once we're done with this little contract, we're going to go back to the dilapidated temple and get an extra board. Heal. But the rest that he's referring to are the ones that we've been... I have been killing. Wait, wow. The ones that I've been killing throughout the game, the really weird ones, the one that just dropped that contract right before we came into the boss fight. Now thus far, here's a really interesting little farming spot that you can use for right now if you need to get some extra points, but here is one of the rats. They drop contact medicine, which if you haven't gone through the Harada state memory and you haven't taken down the drunkard yet, this is great, because it makes you pretty much immune to poison. It seems Ishii's illness is indeed grave. Hmm. The land of Ashina will not last much longer. Even with Genichiro on our side. What about our other mission? Black Hat is fighting like a demon by the Serpent Valley side of the castle. Then that's where we're going next. But keep your wits about you. The Black Hat Badger won't go down without a fight. I still yet to figure out what person they're referring to in that little conversation. Ooh, and they do hit hard, so just keep that in mind. But when they do run at you straight like that, just unload on it. With a loaded axe, breaks their shield hat, and it allows you to get a uh, instant kill. More pellets. Drop down here. And we're gonna rest guys noticed they give quite a bit at least at this point in time of the game they gave you quite a bit of experience points each I think it's like 92 which is a lot but we're gonna go and talk to this guy back up here Goken I think his name is we talk to him get our new set of skills uh, yes I knew you had it wonderful Ah, the Ashina text. This is... The ways of the Ashina blade. It's our school of fighting. But there are no hard and fast rules. You just win your battles. That alone... I hope it can be of assistance with you. So, with that being said... We can go and take care of ourselves back at the Lepidate Temple. Get four heals.
and if it looks like I made this boss fight look a little easier, trust me, it's not. I was like clinching so dang hard the whole entire time. If you die to him, don't feel bad. Everyone dies to him. He's such a pain in the butt to kill. So do not worry about it if you don't get him down the first time. Because I was surprised that I got him down the first time. Albeit I missed a couple of uh, grappling hook attack opportunities he posed. Because I was smack in the middle of an animation. And I wasn't able to grapple over to him. I'm glad you've come. Goodbye. Okay, so we have four heals now. We're gonna sit down, and now we're gonna take a look at the Ashin style, which the Ichimanji. Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Uh, bu, bu, bum. And it actually hasn't, I mean, you have this, you have the Ichimanji, then you have the Ichimanji double, which is right here. I'm not sure what these guys are yet, I would have to go back to my main file and look. But the Ichimanji is very, very nice. It imposes heavy posture damage. So if you're having problems with somebody, you can just go and just beat the living snot out of them for fun. Uh, bu, bu, go back into my prosthetic tools. Yeah, no. And I'm going to be starting to put back for this. For each death blow you do, you gain a little bit of health back. I just got that on my main file. It's a lifesaver sometimes. If you can pull off an actual death blow and get some health back, it could pretty much mean life or death. So I'm going to rest. And I'm going to actually travel over... And we're gonna cure this dragon rot really fast. And how you do that, I believe the first. Yeah, here we go. I believe the first victims that you can talk to about it is the old woman that gave us the bell in order to go over to the Harada state memory. She's typically the first one I pick it up from. Quick little trip over here. Womp. It takes a little bit, but she'll she'll get you a cure, quote unquote. She's gonna have to try a little harder than that. So I take this back to Emma, give it to her. She starts doing her research. <coughs> Excuse me. Research for Dragon Rod itself, and then she gives us the, uh, either it's called the Healing Charm or the Divine Charm, I can't remember. Back to the temple, so we can take care of that. Once we cure all that, we are pretty much in the clear. And next comes one of my unfavorable boss fights the blazing bull everyone hates him he's a pain i'm glad you've come master wolf but i can also i'm gonna say that for next episode i've obtained one a blood sample the coloration is very similar but do you have i believe so. allow me to continue when we speak again in fact goodbye so it takes her a little bit until she's able oh, to finish i see you've acquired a mechanical barrel it's a mechanism that can serve as the very core of the process. Hand it here. What difference does the barrel make? With a versatile base such as this, 
I can use various purifying agents to further hone that bang of yours. Purifying agents. Purifying agents up though if you Okay, so now we can upgrade our prosthetic tools. So I don't quite have enough. Oh, I need one more gunpowder for that. Or one more scrap iron for that. And three scrap iron for the spring loaded shuriken. That's not a big deal. And of course, he's very affected by the dragon round. I'm gonna get it cured as fast as I possibly can. Now, what I can. Look at my timer. I don't have all that much time left. Because I mentioned in the last stream that I did back on Monday that the Sheriff Factory has, in fact, cut down on how much yeah, they've cut down how much you're able to render down, so I can no longer render things past an hour unless I'm putting it from Twitch over onto the channel. So I'm going to check out something really quickly here. There is another pathway that I can take in order to get to a different section of the memory of the Corrado State. Always gonna take him down no matter what I do. Just gonna work my way up the <laughs> No 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 no, you get to shut up. Die. Thank you. Nope. Oh, that's right. Because I didn't go this way. I took down the. Whoa, 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 whoa. I took down the Shinobi Hunter. Rest, reset. Thank you. Go away. There we go. So I got this couple of But this one takes a little bit of time to get through, but it's worth it. Because we're able to follow Patch's advice and go up here. Take those down anytime I see them because getting getting wow getting the getting the treasured scale for the vendor never hurts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is something a little bit crazy. Come on. He doesn't drop any prayer beads, he's just really tough as nails. Hey, 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 stop it. Thank you. That's fine, I'll take a death. The only thing that he drops is upgrade material. And it's so early in the game that there are a couple of spots where I can just farm upgrade materials between videos to be have the opportunity to upgrade the tools that I've got so now I'm gonna work my way up steadily mind you
major problem that I have here is that there's so many archers. Oh, you know what? The Chipangion. Huh, well, that's a little bit odd. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode by taking down the very first official boss within uh, Sekiro. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to also drop by over at the Twitch channel that I stream three times a week, Monday, Thursday, Fridays. Don't forget to also drop by the Twitter to be notified when I'm going to be actually streaming. And on top of that, don't forget to come by and join the brand new community that I set up for this little channel spree that we got going between multi-platforms, Black Templar Games Nights. Come on, come join the Brotherhood. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a good one.